yes if you are zoophobic if you don't know how to open up a rat with your full chest you cannot be a medical student because if you don't know how to draw you're gonna fail you have to be a vampire before you can get into medicals you have to love dead bodies <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a medical student and I make life. I make life. <laughs> I make videos. Over rehearsed speech is not good. I make videos on the life of a medical student. The ups and downs, left and right, middle and center. Of the every the goodies of medical school in Nigeria. In today's video. I'm going to be telling us, or telling you rather, the myth about medical school in Nigeria. You see those things that will tell you when you're still in high school and about to enter medical school? That's what this video is about, because I heard a lot. I heard a lot from my classmates that said they knew about medical school. From my neighbors that said that they were in medical school, I heard a lot. Okay, the first one is that you have to be an artist obviously they didn't say you have to be an artist but i'm just going to be a little bit extra because i can <laughs> the first one is that you have to know how to draw meaning that you have to be an artist so you have to know how to draw before you get into medical school because if you don't know how to draw you're gonna fail like medical school is about drawing when you come to medical school you don't do anything else but to draw lies See, I knew how to draw like basic things like okay draw the kidney I can draw the kidney by looking at the picture I can represent what I see on a paper but I can't do abstract or draw out of my head so it wasn't really a problem for me but I came to medical school I'm still looking for where I'm going to draw where am I going where this skill of mine that I have where is it going to fall into you don't have to be an artist to be in medical school honestly that is a life from the pit of hell I mean you don't have to be an artist to be a medical student if you know how to draw that's good for you it might come in handy when you're reading something and you just want to represent it in drawing so you can remember easily because some that's actually someone's study habit drawing when they are reading and jotting down things putting them in diagrams okay that can be good to remember but you absolutely don't need to know how to draw before you get into medical school that's a lie you can call this video kind of a debunking myth okay another myth is that you have to love animals okay you have to be able to open up a rat a cat a dog yes if you are zoophobic if you don't know how to open up a rat with your full chest you cannot be a medical student yes lie lie from the pit of hell that is a very big lie <laughs> because you're not getting into veterinary medicine okay so you are doing human medicine not veterinary medicine you don't need to know how to cut up a rat or all those things that you see before you get into medical school for someone like me i am very highly zoophobic i don't like animals i don't hate them but i don't like them to touch me okay so i am not animal friendly at all okay and i say oh my god you're cute but you're cute on my phone not in front of me you get so you don't need to be a veterinary doctor to be a medical school that is a very big lie okay the only thing that we you actually need to do is you're actually going to cut up a white rat in by you something 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 when you're infested but honestly you don't need to be the one to cut it because it's going to be a group work so if your group members can do it fine the lab attendants have already they've already sedated the rats and pinned it down okay you pin it down by yourself and all of that but you'll be wearing gloves so you don't need to love animals to be a medical student that's a very big lie another myth is that you have to love blood you have to be a vampire before you can get into medical school if you're not if you're if you're not a vampire if you're scared of blood you can be a medical student <laughs> that is a lie see 
because you're scared of blood that doesn't mean that you cannot be a medical student honestly you don't even see that much blood maybe in a very very rare rare situation whereby somebody is bleeding like severe severely in the hospital or it's not like on a normal day somebody will just be losing five liter of blood that's it how please you don't need to be a vampire before you get into medical school another one is that you have to love dead bodies you have to have this great affinity for them you have to love them with your your mind your body your soul that is a lie please i know that we handle cadaver in medical school but i did not have to go and sleep in a mortuary before i could be a medical student okay it's something that you have to learn if you find out you cannot do it's just for one year you're not going to see dead body for life please excuse me <laughs> these myths are so so funny okay how do you expect me because i want to be a medical student i will now like sleep with a dead body or see a dead body or be in the it, I saw a dead body. The first time I saw a dead body, aside from secondary school, when we had to go and visit one um, old girl like that that had died, and we had to come around her her casket, and they kept it open. That was the first time I saw a dead body, and I was I was actually frightened, honestly. But when I saw dead bodies in the cadaver room, it was not a it was actually not a big deal what was the big the big deal where there was the formalin it was choking other than that a dead body is a human being that just the soul the spirit has just left them you now have your body a human being is not this body does not make us human it is our soul the thing inside us our spirit that makes us human so you don't have to be a love what are they, what, people that love dead body do they have a name please if they have a name comment down below okay so these are the myths that i heard in medical school i can't remember any other one right now but these are the ones that really struck me if you remember anyone please leave your comments below because these myths are very very funny i don't know about you but it's funny being in my fourth year in medical school some of these things i have not seen so it actually makes no sense why would someone tell you that are they trying to scare you away from your dream so now yeah, there is an advice going out here don't let anybody born of a woman impregnated by a man <laughs> scare you from achieving your dream or pursuing your dream if you want to be a doctor and you have some fears and you really really know that you want to do this you have to overcome it because fears are limiting they can limit your your um beliefs they can limit your where you're going to go to so don't let anybody scare you for no reason so guys this is the end of the video if you have more meat in the coming in that you heard before getting into medical school or that you, you've heard now please leave it in the comment section i want to laugh honestly I, I want to have a good laugh this is the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not and leave your comment below flood my comment section okay with your beautiful comments and i'll see you guys in my next one bye